Hey guys, it's Lambert Rock Strikes Back once again. And I was supposed to review on Face of Up last year, but then sadly I just didn't get the round two because the reason why, because last year I was too busy making Peppa Pig unrated videos. So I'm deeply sorry I didn't do a review on Face of Up last year, but thankfully I'm going to review it this year. I was originally going to re review it this year for, on August for its anniversary, but I decided to say you know, myself, you know what? Um, why not review it? Because I want to guess. I just want to review this awesome masterpiece of a TV show. So, Fierce and Ferb came out in 2000. So, based the plot, it's about Fierce and Ferb. He has is in on the backyard, and then and then and, and then and then they are um they are, it's it, it's 104 days of summer. It's about 104 days of summer vacation, and it came up with a great idea and to build some benches, all that stuff, and try not to get busted by Candace, and and of course um. Perry the Planet Person can take down the evil Dr. Hines, Jeffrey Smurfs! And that's basically what the plot is. I mean, seriously, it's literally the same thing in every episode, but the way they do it, they, they did it in a brilliant and an awesome way. So I have, so Fierce and Ferb is, is one of these, a lot of people have requested me to do a video on my channel, and I have reviewed Fierce and Across Second Dimension last year. Would I review the movie again for its 10th anniversary? I am not sure, I had to think about that. So, believe it or not guys, I first watched this many years ago. Many years ago, I first watched this. It was amazing. I actually watched this many years ago, around 2003 or something like that. I've watched it. I've, as I first watched 2003. Now I remember I was watching Tissy Channel, and um, and also I, was, I remember I was watching Tissy Channel, and then I was, I think I was watching like Chippendale Rescue Rangers or something like that. Uh, I actually saw a promo. Fierce and Ferb, and I was, and honestly, my mind was blown. I was like, I have to see this show. So, and and I got to, and I thought as a kid, I absolutely loved it. And to this, and my very first, episode, my very first episode of the show I ever watched is actually the second episode. Actually, the very first episode I ever watched was actually the second episode, and that is and Backyard Beach. That was actually my, my first episode I ever watched from the show. And I did watch the first episode lay on during the series. So, so Fierce and Ferb, what can I say? It's a masterpiece. It's a classic. This show is part of my childhood. I love this show. It's fun, entertaining, creative. It has great animation and some really great voice acting. It's overall a brilliant show. That's how I can describe this show. I mean, the story is really original. It has a really original story. And the premise of the show is spot on. It has a really good premise. And the and now let's get into the um the characters. Fierce is an absolute great character. He's a really awesome character. And, he's, and he comes with great ideas. Ferb is absolutely awesome. And he is just a great character. Uh, uh, Fierce and Ferb's parents were, were, were great. And Lindala is, is, is great. I mean, yeah. That, I mean, Linda, I meant. Lindala is basically, she's a, Linda used to be a rock band. And she used to be Lindala, but then she quit a long time ago. This is way before Candice was born. And Lawrence, and, and Lawrence, Face of dad, is actually a, re, is a really nice and really likable father to him. All right, and then we get into Face of friends. We have the Fireside Girls, which are awesome characters. I'm not going to name all the characters, it will, it will take ages in one video. Isabella is, is an absolute great character, and I know Matthew Davis hates Isabella in, in, in his Face and Fur rant, which rest in peace is, is Face and Fur rant, because that, he, he did it is, is all videos. But honestly, honestly, I don't, I gotta be honest, I actually really like Isabella. She has a crush on Phineas ever since her, for her childhood, but honestly, She's a really, really likable character, and she's awesome, and she's voiced by the same actress who voiced um, Sam from The Loud House. i got to say, she was great. Hey, Bulgy and Buford were a ton of fun, and, and, and Buford is absolutely awesome. He's basically like the nice version of Nelson from The Simpsons. That's how I can describe him. And then we have Roger, Duf Roger Doofenshmirtz, which is the mayor, the mayor. He's an absolute great character, and he's really likable. Well, and Perry Plabus is easily my favorite character of the show. He is just an absolute great character. And of course, Dr. Hines, Doofish Murphs, what an amazing villain. He's hilarious, entertaining. And honestly, guys, I dare, yeah, I dare rant on Doofish Murphs in my old channel back in 2015. But that's in the past. I was doing it as a joke. It was just a joke, guys. But honestly, that was that was in the past. But Dr. Hines, Doofish Murphs. He's a fantastic villain, and he has a really, and, and you really, really felt bad for him, for his childhood. I mean, he, I mean, seriously, I mean, 
you really felt bad for the guy, what he's been going through ever since his childhood. Now, now honestly guys, I have a lot of favorite episodes of the show, which I'm not gonna name all the episodes in, in one video because all my favorites, but I gotta say, the very first episode, Road Coaster, was a great start to, to, introduce, the to introduce the show. Great start to start the show. And Backyard Beach was great. I like the episode when Candice gets busted. And he's like, it's our party to get into the get together. Candice party, Candice party. Honestly, I look, that was absolutely hilarious. And honestly, I also like the episode where the Feast of a Robot episode and the golf episode was absolutely a ton of fun. And the songs in the, in the show were so catchy. I love most of the songs of, of the show. And, and of course, um, there's one song called Ducky Momo. That's right. Candice's toy, and yes, and if you even, and yes, that this is where I got this. I this I named um Miss Stuck from Pepe on Ray videos I made. I I, I named a uh, Ducky Momo, and so yeah, that that's that's why I named a uh, Ducky Momo. So yeah, Ducky Momo is a great character, and that's why I named Mrs. Duck in my Pepe on Ray videos. I call her Ducky Momo. So anyway, um, yeah, Ducky Momo is a very cute character, and yeah, Ducky Momo's song was really great. Ducky Momo, Ducky Momo. I also love the song um, Fixing Machines. Um, yeah, something like that. Uh, what is it? Fix and Miggle Machine, that's right. It, that is an absolute catchy song. And honestly, I can name all the songs. The song in this show is just outstanding. This show has great song. They're so memorable. I even reckon, remember most of the songs to this day, even though sadly the show ended six years ago. But the song in the show, are absolutely catchy. They're a ton of fun. They're very intense. It just makes the show overall a very fun TV show. But honestly, I don't care if the show is the same thing in every episode. But the way they did it, they did it in a clever, genius way. I mean, I love the moments with Perry Pipers and Dr. Hines doofing Smurfs. Those are the most entertaining scenes of the entire show. I love the Dr. Hines doofing Smurfs and Perry Pipers moments. They are the most fun and creative moments of the entire series. They are just awesome. And then we have the movie, uh, Cross Second Dimension. Honestly, that was a freaking masterpiece of a movie. That is the best Disney Channel movie I've ever seen in my life. And way better than the underwhelming piece of shit, The Sweet Life movie. I don't want to get started on that shitty movie. So, yeah, all of that. Fist, Fist of Cross Dimension is an, is an outstanding masterpiece. That could have been the series finale to the TV show. I mean, personally, The Simpsons have run around for 32 seasons. If they, they should have ended it off in a movie. It's a great show, but they could have ended it off in a movie. It feels like a series finale to the TV show. They should have ended there. As for Canyons Against the Universe, it's not as good as the first movie, but I liked it. I still enjoy it anyway. And, and the humor in the show is actually really good. And I gotta say, I love the humor, and it, it also has a few video games of it. And on that, guys, I have nothing else to say. I have no negative to the show. It's, and of course, a lot of people shipping, um, Finn Bearer, that's it. Fierce and Isabella. Honestly, they make a really good, a cute couple. I actually would say that. But despite that, Fierce and Ferb is an outstanding master of a TV show and definitely a great show. And they even got a spin off show called, well, not, it's not really a spin off show, but they only made another show called Myers Murphy Law. Which, honestly, guys, ever since, um, so yeah, guys, and, and, and if you guys know back in, if you guys know me for, since 2016, you guys know how much I adore Myers Murphy Law. But ever since the show didn't make it, it despite, Smiles Movie Law didn't make any episodes for nearly two years. Holy crap, that show didn't make more episodes for nearly two years. And it, and in season two ended since 20 season two ended 2019. I kinda abandoned Miles Murphy Law. I don't really talk about that sh that show on my on my channel that often anymore. But please, I really hope that show gets it a season three. So that'll be awesome. But face of um get it, of course, a 10 out of 10. It's an amazing, brilliant masterpiece. So that's my review on Fears and Furb. Stay to my review on South Park. Looking forward to talking about that awesome TV show. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Like and share with your friends. Until next time, goodbye.